Learn how to set up an oil condition sensor using our general purpose model. Welcome to a new Airbus Instruments tutorial. In this video you will learn how to set up our 4 to 20 million pairs general purpose model. For this example we will use an oil condition monitor and we will test it with the integrated test plate. Remember that every sensor has a different configuration for the 4 to 20 million pairs value. So it is important to check the datasheet to input the correct values. For this example, we will be using a generic oil condition sensor. This sensor includes debris strip with measure amount of fine and coarse debris to assist with bench testing. And this is exactly what we will do on this video. First, you will need to add the general purpose model into your database following the steps on the wizard. In the last step, you will be asked to choose or create a unit measure for the data received. In this case, we will be creating two units, one for every type of test. You will need to define the sensor type and sensor name for the unit that will be created. We will start with the fine iron unit. This is measured in grams, so we have to define the parameter and description. Once that you are ready, you can click on Add Unit. Now, you have to set the values for the 4 to 20 mA range. We will use the debris strip units to set 0.01 grams at 4 mA and 0.40 grams at 20 mA. You can click on Calculate to see if everything is in order. Then, choose the unit we created recently for the fine iron and click Add. Let's create the other unit for the debris strip, this one for coarse iron, and repeat the same process as before, creating a coarse gram unit and the range for the 4 to 20 mA. The next step is to set up the units created to each channel connected to the general purpose model, and then click next, and just click finish to close the wizard. Confirm that the general purpose model is being recognized with the gateway. If it is, now you can start receiving the information from the model. Now access to the historic extra parameters. We connected at the same time the cables for the fine and coarse iron, so we will be receiving each value simultaneously with the probe so we will check step by step the value received. By now we have the first measures taken by the probe when the sensor was restarted. For the test, we should expect approximate values compared to the test strip. In the first test, we will connect the probe to the coarse iron bearings at 0.62 grams mark. Restart the sensor and a few seconds later click on the point. We see the resultant measurement of 0.6361. Considering the barrier between the old sample and the prop is a really good result. Now for the fine iron, we will connect the prop to the 0.40 grams. Then restart the sensor and wait a few seconds for the information to reach the database. When we access to the point, we receive 0.3534. In this case, the fine iron has a thicker barrier for very fine particles. So, this is an acceptable measurement. This way you can test, use and connect any 4 to 20 million per sensor to our phantom general purpose model. Remember, always consult the datasheet for your sensor and you will be set. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. For more information, visit airbus-instruments.com